Hello my technicians, welcome back to Tech in Technic. So today we're going to continue with the computer craft a little bit. Uh, there's a few things I want to show you that just helps your coding and also moving programs and things like that. Um, so I've been playing around with this and I've reset the stuff, changed the password on it um, and the timings and stuff like that. People said to me, now how do I stop people from hacking into the computer? Because what you can do is if you need to edit this program, you hold Control and T, it will say terminated, and then you can edit the startup again, like this. So what do you need to do to stop this? So what you need to actually do, I would recommend backing this up first. Um, so I've changed my password to my name. Um, what you can do is make a couple of floppy disks. Now we need to do this with some paper and some um, Redstone. Someone asked me what was on the bottom floor of the house. This is what it is. It's a sorting machine powered by blue ele electricity um, and a timer and all that kind of stuff. Um, that was quite a few episodes we did that, but that's what's down there. Um, so some paper. Uh, that's one piece. Well, I've got three in my inventory. Oh yeah, of course I was going to show you before, wasn't I? But then my video editing went a bit cack and <laughs> typing was really awful um, so all you need to do to do this we'll do it over here as we've got a bench near is put the paper on top of redstone redstone on top of paper rather wow so we'll make three for now and it's good to have a couple of extra um, so what you can do now is go back to your computer and we're going to take the drive that we made in the last episode we're going to put it next to it um, right click and then place the disk in or what you can do is if you need to be sneaky and you're hacking on a server you can hold sneak then right click and it'll go straight in okay uh, then right click the computer and then we're going to go out this menu so control save control exit okay so now we're on this we're going to do copy sl uh, slash sorry disk slash startup and then we're going to we're going to like give it kind of a name. So that's what we're going to do. Copy space disk slash startup slash uh, space startup fail. Um, let's see if it'll work. Wow, this worked <laughs> when I tried it earlier. Was I using the wrong one? Yeah, I was. Well done. Well done. Um, so, right, sorry about that. <laughs> um, copy, slash, no, sorry, <laughs> failure. Um, startup, space, disk, slash, startup. There you go. And if it doesn't tell you anything, you know it's worked. So exit out of that. Right click your drive, and you'll see it's assigned a letter. So we've got five for this one. I've played around a little bit already, so that's why you've got you haven't got it as number one for example so I'm just making sure that all this stuff works before I do it um, but kind of failing but there you go um, so now we've got the program on that disk we can also move on to this one I'll show you how to do that in a minute um, for the minute actually I'm going to make another computer just so I can show you how to move things because it's good to know in the future so so we're going to have another computer say to activate a door we'll use that in a minute and I'll show you how to use it so once we've got our boot disk now we can edit um, this computer so it's unhackable okay so for this we're going to go right click again edit startup and then what we're going to do is get to the end of this line uh, was it end of this line? Uh, let me just try and find the at the top yeah so the very top so let's go to the home press home button to go to the end if it makes it any easier then we're going to do os dot pool event uh, capital E I think okay equals os dot pool event capital E and then raw which is capital W as well control save control exit Shut down. OK, 
Okay, now when we go back into this, I'll just like tr test it with my password. That works fine. Okay, now if we try and control T, I'm pressing this down now, it will not terminate. So this is an unhackable computer right now. So if you have a server that you cannot place blocks down in a certain restricted area, which you can do with uh, plugins and things, it's really good because nobody can break the computer to get in, can't break the iron door. Um, so if you, say, put bedrock around it or something like that, you, you just can't get into it. Nope, spelled that wrong. Okay, so it's no longer accessible by control T. Um, so what I'm going to do now is show you how to move this across. So we take the drive. We're going to keep this as that is because I want that there, for example. So um, put, put the disk in. Now it will move another disk across, but just make sure you don't use the wrong ones because they're empty at the moment. Um, so, hang on, let me try something. Oops. T -A -T -P. So there's nothing in the startup command, but as soon as I put that um, drive down, you see I made that fresh computer a minute ago, um, it automatically recognized it. So, let's pop it down. Uh, so, I'll just show you that you've got a clean menu at the moment, okay? And then to co copy across, um, we're going to do CP disk slash program, which is start up, and then start up again, because um, we're replacing that file. When I tried this before, it came up with an error, it might do it again, but then after that it worked, so I'm not really sure. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so exit out, exit out of that. Um, shut down. I know, hang on, we're in the wrong menu. Whoops, herp derp. Wow. File exists, apparently, but there you go. So. It's really hard to see what I'm typing, by the way, guys, so apologies if I spell things wrong. So now that program is loaded, I was saying signal would be out if we had this been plugged into it. Um, let's just fashion ourselves a bit more redstone. Oh, his quantum armor leggings are doing their job. Right, so look. I really can't remember how much I typed. <laughs> um, I mean, because it's coming out the back of it, so it may be that we need to do this. You already said output. There we go. Five seconds and close. Um, so, yeah. I'm still quite a novice in this kind of stuff, so apologies if I'm a bit uh, noobish. Well, I know I'm noobish for this kind of stuff, but uh, it's getting easier to understand as it goes on. So, so currently this computer can be terminated. So we can remove all this junk. And take the disk drive away. And then hopefully, yeah, it's gone back to how it was. So that's what you do. And then you do the uh, OS dot pull event space equals uh, OS dot pull event raw. And then you can not terminate the computers. So it's very good for servers. Very, very good. Uh, let's just see how this one is. Shut down, goodbye. 
and that's back to how it was as well. Um, so that's how to do those things. Hopefully um, you get this. It's a bit complicated and I've, you know, cocked it up a little bit, but um, you get the kind of idea. Um, check out the computercraft.info slash wiki if you want to find out some more information about this stuff. Uh, it's really good to know. Um, I'll try and show you a little bit of coding you can do with the paste bin as well, you know, the, the website where you can just get programs straight from there. So it makes it a lot easier for coding and things if you're, you know, not good with keyboards or um, not good with codes and you find yourself loads of errors and stuff. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. We're going to look at the uh, red matter weapons that are good for mining and things. And yeah, see you all next time. Bye-bye.